Okay, time for some more winter art. I'm first going to take my white paper and write my name and room number on the back. And then flip it back over. Okay, so I've got these pastels here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint, I'm gonna draw a cup, a teacup. I want mine to be a little bit fancy. I think I'm going to give my teacup a different handle and I'm going to give mine a really fun pattern. You can get as wild and crazy as you want. Okay, now what my cup needs is a saucer. So, and the saucer could even have its own crazy pattern like maybe it's got stripes or polka dots however you want to do this there are no rules with this Okay, now um, hmm. I really like this bold color. You can use as many colors as you want. So this is going to be kind of the table outline. And this will have yet its own pattern. Okay, now I'm gonna have my cup of tea or hot chocolate outside in the snow. 
So with my white pastel, I'm going to make some super fun white snowflakes, but you can do whatever. You can put the sunshine in the background. You can make one of these crazy patterns in the background, whatever you like. Oopsie, I hit my head on my camera. There we go. So now the drawing is over, the fun drawing part. Now we're going to add our watercolors. Okay, so let me go grab my paintbrushes. Okay, so make sure you have your water handy. And I'm, there are no rules with this. Once you start with the watercolors, you'll see that you can just go over these pastels with the watercolors because there's resistance and you can paint the inside whatever colors you wish in as many different tones and shades as you wish. Because this is gonna be the most bright, creative, imaginative cup of tea or hot chocolate you could ever imagine. Okay. My tea is going to be still a tannish brown though, but you can choose whatever. I I just don't like rules with art, so. See, I did two different colors down here because I'm just crazy like that. The real world has so many rules, right? So many things that you have to do. Color in the lines so many different rules that when you're doing art, I think you should just be able to do what you want and have some freedom. I think I need some orange in there. Then more blue, just kind of blending in. Don't forget about the little white spaces, fill those in.
Isn't it cool how the pastels are resistant? Hmm. Okay, now for the final part, the sky. I'm going to do this dark blue. See my snowflakes coming through now? You can really see them once I put the watercolors on. It's like magic. Now, I'm going to put this aside for just a moment. And I'm going to make my little tea label with my string. So I've got a little bit of string here, not much. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to take my little square and glue it with my glue stick onto my string. gonna dangle it from my teacup. Now you can put a little bit of a pattern on the the tea label too. Let's see. star or what have you see so I glued my little tea bag onto my teacup with the string the final step is just putting a little bit of glue up here and I've got this cotton and this is gonna be your steam. Coming from your cup. You can form it a little bit to make a nice curl. That's our steaming cup of tea or hot chocolate. Happy winter time, everyone. <laughs>